Hey guys, B-Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. As you guys see right here, we've got the tombstone glitch and I've got an all you need to know tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna go over everything in this, including improved methods and everything for duplicating faster and everything, guys. So with that said, get down there. Smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you're not already. And let's get straight into this, guys. I'm gonna start this video out with explaining what to do after you have a tombstone set here and so that you guys want to keep your tombstone here every game guys so say you've come up to your tombstone at the start of the game right you come to your tombstone and you've found that your tombstone's still here you can loot out your tombstone now guys if you have schematics in your tombstone that you're trying to claim so that you're able to craft the item that the schematic allows you to craft what you need to do is you need to go to an at mission exfil because that is not an actual exfil okay so what you need to understand is the types of exfils first off there is a normal exfil which is an actual exfil okay then you have like the act 4 portal and the other act mission choppers those are not exfils what those are is they hold your inventory to take it into the next game but they do not actually exfil it so that will explain to you guys why that will not not claim your items and it will appear that some items you can't claim that way so the only time that you need to use one of these portals to keep your tombstone is a if you've got an insured weapon in the game and you want to leave the game and keep have your insured weapon not go on to timer in that case you don't just go along and quit app okay or if you're like me and you do not bring in an assured weapon, you have nothing to lose by quitting app. Once I've looted up my tombstone, I can go along and I can drop all the items out for another player. And then I can just go along and I can just say quit app. Okay, and in that case, when I come in the next game, my tombstone is going to still be here, okay? I won't be duplicating stuff myself, but I'll be duplicating them in the sense I've given the, the items to another player, and the next game I come in, and I've still got them in me to give to another player or to use them myself, okay? That's one way to do this. Then, another way is if you come to your tombstone and you want to claim like say someone's given you some schematics you've got them in your tombstone and you want to claim them okay what you do for that one is you'll come along to your tombstone you'll loot up your tombstone like you see here and then to claim them so that they get used and you're able to craft the items that they craft you need to take them to an exfil which is a normal exfil and then you need to close app on that chopper okay now on xbox for me all i have to do is if i'm solo you go do this solo it's a lot easier it doesn't mess up the timings that way then you just go to an exfil chopper you'll come in you'll loot up your items from here you will go to a normal exfil chopper and you will exfil and when you're standing on the exfil chopper you can close app that's how it works for me now what will happen if you do that is you will get out of the inventory and it will claim the schematics and everything as if it was a normal exfil guys okay now what will happen is you will get these schematics and stuff claimed so those people that are wanting to duplicate items over and stuff like that your best to use the act mission exfils which are not a proper exfil so they will not actually claim your items for you guys what they do is they will just store your items in like an inventory area for the next game so if you think of it that way we can go along you can close app on an act exfil and then when you come in into the load into the menu system you will still have all of these items to bring into the next game guys so then if you're using an act mission and an act mission is an exfil that has a star on it okay a normal exfil does not have a star and an act mission has a star on it and those are not proper exfils okay so for those ones those are what you use to duplicate over schematics and stuff like that between yourself to be able to bring in an extra one the next game but again that's not really required because you can duplicate them just by dropping them out of your your tombstone to the other player okay guys so now you guys should understand the type of exfils and every time you leave this you're always closing app no matter what 
so that you have your tombstone okay if you have a tombstone set that has the items in it that you want next game then you never leave the map without closing app okay there's no time you should ever do a normal exfil without closing app or any kind of exfil without closing app if you have not set your tombstone that game okay now that that should be really clear to you guys let's get into the rest of this there's new and and old information to go over for you guys also guys once the you've set your tombstone and you've got it set to how you want it each game never drink tombstone again okay because you don't need to go down with tombstone you don't need to exfil with tombstone or anything to make sure your tombstone's there at the next game what keeps it there the next game is the closing app okay so if you go and collect the stuff out of your tombstone and you want all that stuff in your tombstone to be in the, there the next game you do not need to drink tombstone at all that game okay just close app and with that said massive shout out to matrix because he's where we got this idea for this next part from doing more than one player in the same match also guys you never close app on the game that you're setting your tombstone in that game you say leave game let's get straight into this okay guys for this we're going to show you guys receiving the dupes from something okay now for this ideally you want to bring in a tombstone cat soda and have a large backpack all ready for this if you're going to be the one receiving it so as you see we brought those in with us now all that you need to do is meet the player at their tombstone the player just needs to drop everything for you and then you need to pick everything up after drinking tombstone perk and then go down fully with that bleed out fully and then that player that dropped all the items for you needs to revive you then from that point your tombstone is set with all of those items that you went down with you can then drop those items for the next player if there's three in your team or if there's only two in your team you could still choose to drop those items back for the player that just dropped you for you and then afterwards you don't have to drop anything but then you just want to say leave game from the in-game menu once you do that the other player will be solo and they'll be able to either if they want to just to just stop there and keep all their stuff and carry but come into the next game do it again for someone else they can just quit app or they can play the game out or do whatever they want as normal they could pick up all those items that you dropped and go and drop them for another player and do the same thing over and over again and if you've got three on your team at this point you can drop all these items and the second player could pick them all up and do exactly what you did die with the tombstone perk drink tombstone perk die with all these items bleed out and have the other player revive them then their tombstones will be set as well and then they just need to say leave game from the in-game app now be careful when leaving game if you are the party leader make sure that you say leave game without pulling the party out okay because you do not want to pull out the player that's dropping all these items because they would then lose their tombstone so be careful at this point and say leave game without pulling out all party members guys then when you come back in your tombstone will be there with all the items then all you'll need to do is you can then from that point on go on and start sharing out the tombstones guys it's simple as easy as so with that said let's get in and now show you guys from the point of view of the person that's actually dropping it okay guys so i just got dropped the items and as you see we'll come back to our tombstone here and say this time i'm the person that's wanting to be the one that's bringing two people in and i'm wanting to drop them right so i would have done as i would have brought them in with me and come to my tombstone right i'll loop my tombstone up and then i would just drop all the items on the ground then at that point they would then go along and take turns one at a time they would pick up all the items they would drink their tombstone perk and they would go down once they would go down they would bleed out completely and then i would come along and i would revive them that player would then drop all those items out out again and the next player would then pick them up and then bleed out completely and then i would revive them at that point they have an option they can just both just leave game and then at that point i can just go along and quit app 
or they could then drop all the items out again and then I could pick all those items up before they say leave game but at that point both of them can leave game at that point I will be solo again with all my items again right and then at that point I have any option I like I can do anything that we like that we've been learnt in the past where I could go along, I could go to an exfil and I could choose to exfil, I could choose to just quit app if I don't want to, I could choose to go along and drop it for my items for another random player and then when I'm done I could even go along or I could go along, I could complete my, my missions, my contracts, I could go along and do my camo grinds or whatever I want, use these items, spend the money and then when I'm finished all I need to do is just close app so we'll show you that here we'll go along to this player oh no he's too far away so we won't do that what we'll show you is we'll just drop them on the ground you could go along and you could drop these for another player or any player and everything guys it's simple as easy as and then once you're done all you do is go along and close app now again, the only time that you don't that you don't you don't need to just close app like this randomly is if you're holding an insured weapon and you don't want it to go onto timer, okay? Because that's the only time you wouldn't just close app because then your insured weapon would go onto timer, okay? In that if that was the case for you, what you would want to do is come to an exfil or uh, any exfil, even one with a star, okay? They will not matter. It does not matter what one you use and you would want to close the, the app. For me, for me on Xbox, I just close app as soon as I'm on the chopper. It does not matter the timing. Apparently on PC, it's different and that timing does matter. So I can't help you guys with the things that on the platforms that I'm not on. But for me on Xbox, it's just close app on the timer. Now, if you guys are, again, if you're not trying to exfil any items to duplicate them up and you're just dropping for other players and you just want your tombstone to be there for you every game, all you need to do is you can just close app like this. So what you'll see is we'll go along and we'll just close app and then the next time we come in, our tombstone's going to be there with all our items in it and everything. You don't need to worry about crumbling your tombstone or anything unless you're that player that's receiving all the items and, and dying and going down with to create a tombstone. If you are that player, you need to make sure that you've crumbled your previous tombstone before you do any of that, okay? And with that said, guys, from that point on, you'll be in and you have know everything you need to know about the tombstone glitch, guys. With that said, get down there. Smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave me an awesome comment. And of course, keep being awesome. Thank you guys for watching my videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Be man.